As a first time home buyer, what are the first steps I need to take? So as a first time home buyer, the, the first step that you need to do is find out what you can afford. Like you might have a rent right now that's $3,000 mm -hmm. a month, but how does that translate into a home purchase? Mm -hmm. Because right now it's just rent. Um, for So you need to speak with a lender. So our team has a lender that we work with um, that's great, can do any kind of loan, and um, so we introduce our buyer to our lender and get that ball rolling to know like, okay, so my $3,000 a month um, rent translates roughly into like a $600,000 um, mortgage. Mm -hmm. So that now I know what um, price point to start looking for. Mm -hmm. uh, we, you know, we have people call us and say, I'm gonna go see this house or mm -hmm. I'm gonna go look at that house and they'll say, you know, I'll say, well, you know, I'd love to show you the house um, I like to see what you know. Have you been pre-qualified? Mm -hmm. And they sometimes they say no. Mm -hmm. And then I said, well, you want, you know, I hate to show you a house that you know you fall in love with and you can't afford it because you know you're you're qualified for three fifty mm -hmm. and the house is eight hundred, right? right? So you bring your family over, they fall in love. That's my room and this is my room <laughs> and that's your room. That's a backyard, you know. So and then uh, yeah. you find out you get to buy a mobile home. You know? Yeah. So, <laughs> but it's always good to you know we we talk with our our, our potential clients, yeah. our buyers, and, and uh, you know get them pre qualified um, sometimes they come mm -hmm. pre-qualified and we just help them find a home but usually we like to make sure we do all the due diligence for them and mm -hmm. help them and educate them mainly on what it, what the process is of, of purchasing a home you know once you get it you know first of all mm -hmm. the price point um, how the showings go um, how we negotiate the best deal for them mm -hmm. as, as a team um, getting the getting you know the best get the inspections done so we come from a you know flipping background so we know wow, a lot okay. about about homes mm -hmm. and what's right and what's wrong you know so mm -hmm. when we have the inspection done we know roughly what things are going to cost to get them repaired so you know we kind of helps put the our clients at ease when, when they're either sellers or buyers most uh mostly buyers because buyers get scared off when they see something oh it's a loose wire in a junction box you right. know so yeah. they'll get scared off so we educate them on you know it's not a big deal you know this is how we handle everything mm -hmm. we have professionals yeah. that we use to if repairs need to be done or we ask for repairs or credits from the seller it's a whole negotiating process and, you know, make sure that they're informed and we, you know, make good connect, uh, communication with them during the process. Mm -hmm. That's the main thing. Yeah. Education and preparation yep. is mm -hmm. top. And so as a buyer, if you go and see a house and you fall in love with it and you haven't gotten pre-qualified, that house is going to be gone before you get through the approval process. Right. Mm -hmm. And then, then you just lost out on your dream house. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so it's very important to get pre-qualified first. That's the first step. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for being right. here today, Mitch and Noel. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.